I'm Duncan Hanson. Help design a school theme cover for the 2018-19 Santana Student Planner. Your design must be school appropriate and all submissions will be voted on. For information and requirements, see Ms. Bachman. Entries must be emailed to Ms. Bachman or hand delivered to room 306. Don't forget, your mathematic results are available through Valentine's Day in the large quad at lunch for only $2. The culinary pathway is looking pretty tasty. Let's roll the clip to hear more about it. Hey Sultans, it's Joseph Killian here with KSUL News and we're here with Mr. Mars asking about what's cooking in the culinary class. So what kind of things have you been making lately? Well, the students had a, a holiday baking contest back in December. Uh, January they've been working with their soup recipes and sauces they'll be making a cheese vegetable soup dish on Thursday today they started the prep work for the bread bowls that, that will accompany the soup and next week being Valentine's Day they're going to make some Valentine's Day cookies that sounds delicious um, so I heard there's something big brewing a big event here in the culinary class can you tell us about that sure there will be a chili cook-off this spring within the culinary arts class and they'll be competing against each other for bragging rights who has the best chili wow that sounds delicious i can't wait um so do you know what time it is or is it still kind of in the work it's still in the planning stages i would say uh it's probably going to occur before spring break wow that's amazing i can't wait for that um well we'll have more on that in the future thank you sultans back to you in the studio Thanks for the information. The boys' tennis season starts Monday, February 12th at 8 a.m. Come be a part of the adventure. They are still looking for all ability levels. Come see Coach Olivier in room 704 to get more information. Attention, all swim and dive. The first day of practice is February 13th at 5.30 p.m. You must be cleared in order to enter the water. If you still need to try on a suit, please see Jess in room S7. Mr. Noble gave us some information on why PE and exercise is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Let's see what he has to say. Hey Sultans, it's Joseph here with KSUL News and we're here with Mark Noble um, about PE classes. So what kind of classes are you in and um, what games are you doing now? Well right now it's obviously we're involved in volleyball. Uh, state framework says you have to have some uh, team sports and volleyball falls under the team sport category. And um, why do you think it's necessary to have PE as a class and what can students learn from it? Well one is they need to be active. We, uh, the older we get, the we're not active, uh, the, our health gets bad. Uh, also you may experience something in physical education that you really like and you may go out for that sport. So if we, when we play tennis, Mr. Lullivier gets lots of girls and boys that want to come out for tennis, play volleyball. The, the girls and boys teams uh, get a few people that had never played before and every sport we do ex except for badminton I think people end up going out for it especially the aquatic sports yeah I know it's a great chance to see what you kind of like and what sports you want to do in high school um, so what's your favorite part about being a PE teacher uh, watching somebody be able to do something that they couldn't do two weeks ago whether in volleyball it's serve or bump or set and in tennis, maybe it's just hitting the backhand. Um, so just watching someone who thinks they can't do something be able to accomplish that. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Noble. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mr. Noble, and thanks for joining us today. That's all for today's news. I'm Jazzy Hansen. And I'm Savannah Hargrave. Signing, Signing off. off. Okay.